So Daniel, uh, the next question that a lot of people are asking is that uh, now the one missing piece of the jigsaw puzzle when it comes to maybe potential upside for the Aussie is the RBA to go and turn hawkish. Very, very dovish in the global scheme of things. What's your expectation near term? Of course, we get an RBA meeting next week. Do you think we might hear a bit of a shift in tone coming from the RBA? I definitely think so. Now, I don't think the RBA is going to necessarily de deliver a hike yet. But we know that the central bank, from recent commentary since Ukraine, is looking into perhaps uh, seeing how that could impact its local economy. And so that's what I was talking about earlier in terms of how if uh, the RBA envisions greater demand for Australian goods, and that pushes up economic growth. It's going to have to perhaps uh, shift its um, outlook to a more hawkish uh, from a dovish stance. So things are looking pretty good from a fundamental perspective for the Aussie dollar. Of course, we've got a lot of uh, global volatility out there at the moment, but from a commodity price perspective and potentially a rate uh, differential perspective, looking okay. Let's go and overlay that backdrop against what it looks like technically on the charts. We know it's had a pretty big bounce in March on the back of some pretty big gains in risk assets. How do we go and trade from here? Yeah, absolutely. Now, of course, there's lots of currencies to choose from in terms of trading the Australian dollar. Now, the most ubiquitous one, of course, is the Aussie USD. And despite um, uh, the on, b despite what's going on in Ukraine, right, and the risk conversion that initially ensued, right, we saw a little bit of a turn lower in Aussie, but it's since uh, recovering, it's the uh, US dollar, as sentiment has recovered um, too. And that's the one thing I want to stress here, is that the Australian dollar still remains a sentiment-linked currency. Uh, so it was slightly down over the past 24 hours as we saw some weakness on Wall Street. But if you look at the chart, it still remains much higher from when it started here at the first quarter against the US dollar. You can see here immediate resistance between 0 0.7532 uh, uh, and 0 0.7556. So that's a very, uh, I think, interesting inflection point. And if it takes that out in the coming uh, periods, that could expose um, those peaks from basically a year ago. And on the way up, you know, there's 100% the notch extension that I've highlighted there, 123.6% extension there. And then also note that we seem to have taken out a falling uh, trend line going all the way back to March of uh, last year. So I think the Australian dollar here is setting up for a very interesting push here.